Now that you are familiar with some basic operators, we are going to cover some of the more advanced ones. These ones are also known as decision-making operators, since they assist in the decision-making process of condition structures in PHP. That may sound like a difficult concept, but you will understand that completely by the end of this and the next chapter. First are comparison operators. Comparison operators result in a Boolean value. If you remember back to the movie on types, a Boolean value is either true or false. There are six main comparison operators. They are the double equals, the exclamation equals, the less than, the greater than, the less than equals, and the greater than equals. The double equal sign compares the value to the left with the value to the right. If they are equal, it returns true. If they are not equal, it returns false. Do not confuse this with the single equal sign. A single equal sign assigns the value on the right to the variable on the left. A double equal sign compares them. The exclamation equals is the English equivalent to not equals. It compares the left and the right values to determine if they are different. If the left side does not equal the right side, it returns true. If the left side equals the right side, it returns false. With the less than operator, if the left value is less than the right, it returns true. If the left value is not less than the right, it returns false. With less than equals, if the left side is less than or equal to the right side, it is true, or else it is false. The greater than operator returns true if the left side is greater than the right, and false if not. The greater than equals returns true if the left side is greater than or equal to the right side. Used independently, the results of these operations will not return anything to the browser. The results are simply true or false. However, when used within a conditional structure such as an if, they are used to determine what condition may be executed. Similar to comparison operators are logical operators. They are what you might say in conversation when trying to determine between two things. I may do A, or I may do B, or I am going to do A and B. The keywords here are AND and OR. The AND operator is represented by the word AND or two ampersands together. This logical operator will return true if the left and right sides are not false. The OR operator is represented by two bars or the word OR. This returns true if either the left or the right sides are not false. Next is the NOT operator. This is a single exclamation mark. It returns false if the variable or operation is true, and if false, it returns true. Little confusing when explained outside the context of a conditional statement, which we will cover in the next chapter. The final logical operator is the XOR operator, represented with the letters XOR. This returns true if either the left or the right side are true, but not when both are true. So let's take a look at this script here. You can see how the logical operators are combined with the comparison operators to make a decision. To translate these lines into English, we first have to assume that it is a decision, and as such use the word if. Remember that the variables will be replaced with their actual values in the statement. So we are actually evaluating if for and six are not equal to five. So this statement is true because four and six are not equal to five. Next we say if four or six equals four, because remember D is replaced here by A. So if four or six equals four, so this variable or this statement 
is again true. Finally, if 4 plus 6 equals c, where c is a plus b, which is 4 plus 6. So 4 plus 6 is 10 equals 10. Then again, this statement is true. Again, taken out of context, these logical and comparison operators may be a bit confusing. But once we cover the conditional and loop structures in the next chapter, you'll discover it is imperative to understand these operators. So to wrap up, we covered quite a bit in this chapter. You now understand variables, how to define, use, and manipulate them using operators. In the next chapter, we cover conditionals and looping, which is the way a programmer controls the execution of their code in a script.